it's amazing by changing the types of roads that you use on a journey how much larger the world becomes and it's in a good way it means you get to explore roads and lanes like this which you just wouldn't see on a motorway you wouldn't see the countryside you wouldn't see the views because it's just big vastness of multi-lane roads and trying to get from a to b as efficiently and as fast as possible but i think what people forget is that it's a lot of fun doing it this way you don't be, need to be in a rush to get where you're going everyone tells you it's the journey on a motorbike and it's true so why does everyone insist on rushing the journey you certainly don't get to enjoy all the smells and sights that we've had on this journey by sitting on a motorway that's for sure just the old buildings the ruralness and just seeing people doing their thing and everyone's got smiles on their face well they seem to have far more than anyone on a motorway ever does that's for sure Down. You're right there ladies and gents, how's it going? Well, I'm out on the bikes, as you can see. And in front of me we've got the Chronicles of Mr Fish, then my mate Andy, and uh, leading the ride up front, as usual, is Big Pez. What are we up to, I hear you ask, with bated breath? Well, we're off to the ABR Rally, or the ABR Festival, which is the Adventure Bike Rider Magazine Festival Rally thing. It's going to be good, it's going to be awesome. So yes, we met up over at the Hogsback Cafe, at just outside Guildford and uh, grabbed ourselves some breakfast there which was awesome and now we've all met up, we are heading the Wiggly Way over to the festival, over to the uh, rally It's going to be a blinder of a weekend, really been looking forward to this I booked these tickets back in 2019 for the 2021 but Covid and all that so um, yeah, I've been waiting to do this for a very long time. The festival should be really good. Um, there's lots of bikes to have a look at and poke and prod and there's a course that we can do a 20 mile loop or something like that. I don't know whether I'm going to be doing that. I've only got road riding kit with me and uh, it's obviously it's adventure bikes. It's all going to be off road stuff that. And from what I've heard from Sam, AKA Old Jafar, the chap that runs Conqueror's Apparel who went up yesterday, the course is a little bit muddy and slimy and my tires are just not made for that, or at least with my ability. <laughs> It's going to be awesome to get away and to extend it all a little bit after we've done the ABR rally me, Pez and Andy are heading further north going up towards Leeds Way and uh, going to camp at Squires I believe Squires campsite which is a motorbike cafe stroke hangout place which will be awesome because I don't believe I've ever been to Squires so yes it's going to be a, a fan dabby doozy weekend in all accounts once we've done that night up at Squires, Andy and Pez are continuing onwards to Yorkshire whereas I'm going to turn around and head back Oof! I was getting a bit toasty I was Now I know my rucker is good, it's good kit this is for riding the miles um, What I didn't realise was that I still had the winter lining in it <laughs> So although I only had a t-shirt on underneath, I was sweating pigs um, yeah, so we've just had a quick stop and I've taken out the liner out of the jacket Can't get the liner out of the trousers because I don't think anyone wants to see me get naked in a car park <laughs> um, So my legs will have to cope <laughs> oh, But yeah, it's a bit better now I've been riding with my jacket undone, it's still undone actually just because it is so warm um, But yeah, I mean I was so hot and I was like, what's going on? It's not that hot today um, but apparently it is <laughs> especially with the winter lining in your jacket <laughs> what an idiot the twiddly lanes that we're on are absolutely amazing very much enjoying these right, well, we've just rolled over 100 miles into the journey it's going really nicely it is still quite warm and my winter lining on my trousers is making my balls sweaty I'm sure you wanted to know that <laughs> yeah it's been a good journey so far um, we've just had a petrol stop I think I could have probably made it all the way up to Leeds 
on the tank of fuel that I had on this. It's got a big old fuel tank this has. Um, but the other guys they needed some so I chopped up anyway. But yeah, yeah, it's all going well. It's all going well. Interesting name for a pub. The Trout at Tadpole Bridge. I'm guessing this is Tadpole Bridge. <laughs> We've swapped round the order of riding, just because of that's the order we came out of the petrol station in. So Pez is up in front with me, and then Andy's behind me, and then Mr. Fish at the back now. Oof. All these buildings, they're awesome. Look at that squishy one. Amazing. Really old, really old stuff, proper old. So this is sort of Bryce Norton. I don't know if this is actually Bryce Norton or if it's just a, a, a town um, in the area. Or RAF Bryce Norton is the place that is here. Look at all these old, old buildings. Fan fucking tastic. What's that? Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. I was just commenting on the buildings. I was just commenting on the buildings. They're fantastic, aren't they? You, you could move here. Love <laughs> to. What a wonderful little town. Awesome. So we're pretty damn close now. We're almost there. We took a little detour. We stopped at a supermarket, got some barbecue stuff and um, some essentials, namely some red wine, because we don't have any ice, so we can't cool any beers. So room temperature red wine it is. Yum yums. <laughs> I'm guessing this is it here. Yeah, it looks very much like it, Ragley Hall or whatever it's called. <laughs> awesome. Oh, we got a convoy. <laughs> Can't blow me weight. Cheers, chaps. Look at that! Free range motorcycles. <laughs> Lots of motorcycles. Drills. I'm guessing that is one of the lead rides over there. I'm assuming. They don't look like they've got luggage with them. And we're off-roading! We're off-roading already! <laughs> We've only just got here! <laughs> Proper adventure by now. I've ridden on grass. Grassy ass, man. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can get off my bike without it sticking in. Sounds like a you problem to me. It does sound like a me problem. Oh. It's in the lock. It's in there, locked in there. What's that? Your bike's useless. 
So we've got our stickers, our wristbands. Well, I've not dropped the bike yet. Good start. Um, yeah. Now we're going to go and find our camping spot. Ugh. Look at all these motorcycles. There's motorcycles everywhere. Right, let's go find where we're going to park. All the motorcycles. It is a p -p packed. Hey, making a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> Yeah. Puck me up, buttercup. Uh, well, we're here. <laughs> Madness. All these crazy people with motorcycles. Wonderful. Okay, so we got set up over at the ABR rally yesterday. Um, I forgot to do any filming yesterday, so um, yeah, nothing to see from that. We didn't get very drunk. Perry didn't throw up. <laughs> you might have thrown up. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, we've got the tents all set up here. Um, Mr. Fish, Andy, Pez and me in my new tent, which is blooming awesome. Chairs blow over in the wind and uh, cause fires to happen. So, um, if you have one of those chairs and you're cooking your water to make tea, um, yeah, watch out for the wind blowing that over and knocking it all everywhere and setting fire to things. Um, so, quite eventful morning. Uh, yeah, it was a good night last night. We went up with Sam, um, aka Hold Your Fire, and a few others. Uh, this fish he met up with uh, Ben uh, Ben King Kingsley, is it? Ben King. Ben King. Yeah, Ben King, who did round the world stuff on his CRF, and uh, yeah, it was a good night. A few drinks were had, um, and some food, and just yeah, general cavortery. It was good fun. Um, yeah. too scared to turn it off in case you can get it started again. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Fish is up to twin, Mimo Gitsi, Andy uh, KLE over the back there, and then Peggy um, BMW. Awesome stuff. Right, um, in a minute we're going to sort of wander over that way um, and see what's going on today. I think there's quite a lot going on, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm just quite happy camping and having a few beers and stuff. I'm not going to be doing any bike riding because I've only got my road stuff and the grass is wet and I really don't want to fall off so um, yeah, I don't know, well, see you in a bit So that's Andy and Pez they're going off to have a go on the off-road course it's a 20 mile course they've got better tyres for it and better kit so um, yeah, they're going to go off and do that Me and Mr Fish, we're going to go and have a look around the um, stands again and these bikes are not going to get dirty William So I've taken a little look around the um, different shows and stuff here uh, there's a lot of stands from the manufacturers which is great you've got uh, KTM, Triumph, Yamaha, uh, Harley-Davidson, uh, TRF 
Honda, they're all here. It's a really good turnout from the manufacturers getting them to showcase their motorcycles. And if you get down in the queues early enough, you can even book demos on them to take them on the off-road course or the road riding, which is pretty damn awesome, I think. I think it's a fantastic festival. I'm really enjoying it. There were some issues last night. Um, the food stalls didn't have enough food. Um, the beer was running out. And I think in any festival, you, you've got to make sure that the beer lasts, especially on the first night. You'll get everyone drunk, don't you? He's not from round here. Strangers. Strangers. Stranger danger. <laughs> That's where we stayed last night. That's where, where Pete stayed. That's where Pete stayed last night. <laughs> in a fucking bucket. <laughs> Mr. Fish is leaving us, he's heading back down south, and uh, yeah, I've got some noodles for lunch. Nice. See you later, mate. Have a safe ride. That way, he's over there. All good? All good? See that guys? See you soon, yeah? Wowzers, that was a good few days. This is the Adventure Bike Festival and we are leaving. We are done. We have done it. There's still stuff going on today, but we've done all we need to do here. Enjoyed some company, enjoyed some alcohol and enjoyed looking at bikes and hearing bikes and stuff. Pez and Andy did take a, a spin around the course. I didn't, I didn't fancy it. All right then, how do we get out of here? Brilliant stuff. Right, onwards. This isn't the end of our adventure. We are heading out over to Squires Cafe up near Leeds. Um, going to go the interesting way. Not going to do too many dual carriage rays, although the first stint will involve a little bit, just because we're going to find a McDonald's that's far enough away from here not to be full of bikers so we don't have to queue for ages. And uh, I might do a little bit of weight reduction in their toilet because the toilets here are terrible. <laughs> It was a fantastic show, I've really really enjoyed it. I didn't feel much when we were inside it because I was just getting drunk and like I don't really want to show that too much on the old internet, so I've done that before and I end up making a right fool of myself. So uh, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll leave that for my friends and the people who are face to face with me to have to put up with. <laughs> but as you can see, there's an awful lot going on here. All the motorcycle manufacturers were here and uh, They've got uh, all their dirty bikes, or not the dirty bikes, they're, they're adventure style bikes here that people can take demos on and stuff. The queues for it were a bit long, and uh, the course was apparently a little bit treacherous uh, in places. Not really for a dirt bike, but for adventure bikes with 80% road tyres, it just wasn't worth the risk for me, uh, so I didn't do that. Now, it, like I say, it was an incredible, incredible festival, um, but there was a few down points. The toilets were, there just wasn't enough toilets for the amount of people here because they had a lot more people here than I think they initially planned for, which if they put more toilets in that would have been okay, um, but you have to queue for an hour to have a, a sit down moment in the morning. It's not good, it's not right. Um, not when people have spent as much as they have on tickets, there should be facilities. Yeah, sorry, we got distracted trying to get out there. We were going to get blocked in if we just stayed there because there's lots of bikes leaving. Um, yeah, another down point was on our first night, which was the Friday night. Uh, the food stalls had misjudged how many people would be wanting food, so they were running low on food. The beer stalls uh, were running out of beer 
Um, and a, and a, a rally, a bike rally, you can't run out of beer, can you? We planned it so we had some booze for of our own. Uh, so that wasn't at the end of the world for us. And at the price of the beer, um, I definitely didn't have a problem with uh, with uh, using my own. Everything's rattling around a lot behind me. I think it's just because I've packed my bags differently. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, I should have cleaned my visor. <laughs> I'll have to do that at McDonald's. It's all a bit smeary. I forgot I had all the bugs and slugs on it from on the way up here. <laughs> but yeah, that was really the only downsides to it. Um, the massive queues because of the massive amount of people here. And I think they basically brought in more people to try and get some money back from having to cancel and having to give us effectively free entry to this one because we weren't allowed to go to the last one due to Covid. Anyway, other than that, it was a blooming awesome weekend. It was great to spend time with, with Pez, Andy and Mr Fish and uh, the guys from Conqueror's Apparel, which was brilliant to see them. I haven't seen them for a while. Um, also met up with Kerry the Adventure, which was nice to say hello to her. And uh, yeah, yeah, uh, there was loads of people there, lots of uh, sort of larger YouTubers, um, Nathan, uh, Ben King, um, all sorts of people. There's a lot of guys and girls who do adventuring, who write books and stuff about their tales and exploits. Uh, so it's quite interesting to listen to uh, one or two of them throughout the weekend. But anyway, that is the Adventure Bike Festival. That's Raggedy Hall, and we're off to Leeds. Awesome. Keep that bike from us yeah, you know, you gotta keep that bike rubber side down. <laughs>